A hamartoma in general is a term used to describe the benign lesion, which is more likely a developmental malformation than the true neoplasia. And this also very likely applies for fibrous hamartoma of infancy. It affects very small children, usually younger than two years of age. It presents as rapidly growing mass in the subcutaneous area. It can be found uh, in uh, the axillary uh, region, inguinal region in the trunk or in the upper arms and hands and feet are usually not affected. Microscopically, we typically see three components, the adipose tissue, fibrous tissue, and immature mesenchymal cells. The adipose tissue is composed of uniform, bland, normal-looking adipocytes. Fibrous component is arranged in the fascicles, and it is composed of collagen fibers and bland spindle-shaped fibroblasts. And here we have the third component, which is composed of immature mesenchymal cells arranged uh, in sheets. And uh, these cells typically have spindle-shaped nuclei or oval-shaped nuclei, sometimes also stellate-shaped uh, nuclei. And we typically see basophilic background if you compare this fibromatous or fibrous component with collagen fibers. Those are slightly more eosinophilic. Uh, here we have these mesenchymal cells with a basophilic appearance of the background. Here we have some small blood vessels and capillaries. Now this is another area. So again, here we have adipose tissue, fibrous component the, uh, arranged in these fascicles, and uh, uh, multiple areas of uh, immature mesenchymal cells. And also here uh, we can find some blood vessels and small capillaries. Fibrous hamartoma of the infancy uh, is rapidly growing uh, mass, however it has good prognosis, it is benign, and uh, complete surgical excision is uh, usually curative. Thanks for watching.